Hey y'all, um, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a slightly different place. Obviously, I am visiting family, sitting here in my mom's car <laughs> in um, North Austin or North Austin area. And I am visiting one of the local sewing shops here. You know that I love going to independent sewing shops. I am here at a place called So Much More, trying to pick up a present for a friend and maybe a little something for me we'll see but i'm gonna take you in here and get a look at this shop if you're in the austin area or you're from here at any time um maybe this is a place that you'd like to stop by and visit so let's take a look inside and see what it's about So the store I went to is called So Much More. It's in Austin at 3010 West Anderson Lane. This is the little complex that you pull up into and this is the entrance. I realized as I was filming that I didn't get like a really big sweeping view of everything because I was trying as much as I could to avoid getting people in my shot. <laughs> but here is the view from one of the corners near the front of the store that you can see. Um, on the side wall you have notions and towards the middle you have machines and whatnot. In the back corner of the store, one of the corners, you have a fabric area set up with mostly quilting fabrics, but there's a small selection of garment fabrics and Obviously, I had to make sure and take a look at those. There are some really cute, beautiful jerseys. I'm on a fabric fast right now, so I'm not getting any of these, but that's not gonna stop me from taking a look. I love these Robert Kaufman fabrics that look like slightly Peruvian <laughs> in some way. Um, they're really, really beautiful and very tempting, but I did not go home with any of those. Like I said, I was here looking for a small gift for a friend. Um, I know that she sews, but I don't know if she does really garment sewing. I don't think she does quilting. She just mends some things. So I was looking for something small and cute around the $10 range that she might like and enjoy. Did get a little distracted with some ideas for myself. So I had to put those down. But there's this little section in the middle of the store, kind of near the register, with some little bits and bobs for sewing. Um, off to the right side of the store, towards more of the quilting items, there is this big stand with a bunch of different sewing feet and I love looking at these. As you turn to the left from that area you've got rulers, you've also got cutting items, rotary cutters, all kinds of rotary cutters and blades and whatnot. A lot of different choices. What I didn't film towards the back is that there is an area for classes but um, you know there were some people going through there so I didn't film that. They do have patterns, a few commercial patterns, and then some indie patterns, mostly for accessories and home items, things like that. Another view, looking back at that sewing sec or at the fabric section back there. Okay, so I went over to the Notions again. I was really liking this functional pin holder. I might get something like that for me. It was really strong. Also magnetic magnetic seam gauge. Um, I need one of those again for myself. <laughs> but I'm trying to get something a little bit more general. There's a lot of stuff to look at over here on this wall. A lot of different things that I think would be really, really useful, but I'm not sure exactly what kind of sewing she does. So I need to take a look a little bit more. Handheld iron always useful I think for any crafter that works with fibers or anything like that these are super useful but out of the price range I saw these fork pins which I was really curious about I had heard about this kind of pin on a podcast recently so I'm glad I got to take a look at those there are sewing books sewing magazines here if you're interested they've got some really really good ones so yeah. Okay, I am at a different spot now because I am um, gonna finish running some errands that I need to get to before I head back to my parents' place. But that sewing shop was so, so cute. It wasn't exactly a bunch of stuff for me um, because it's a little more geared towards quilting, 
but the people in there, every single person I talked to out of the three folks in there, so helpful, so personable, so kind to me. I didn't film with any people because I'm still, um, ah, I'm awkward to my core and, <laughs> and it's strange for me still to tell people when I'm filming and when I'm not, if there's anyone else in the store. So I didn't film the people in there, but they were super, super cool. They did have, the second thing is, it's a quilt shop, but it has so many more machines to test than I've ever seen in any other quilt shop. I hope I got good shots of that because it was super, super cool. If I had more time to really sit down and get the feel for some of these machines, I would have been, I would have been so happy. Um, there are quilting machines, there are sewing machines, there are sergers. There was a lot in there to test. There was probably like two dozen different machines in there that you could sit down and test. And then there was this whole area that was for their sewing club. It was really, really cool. And then the third thing about the people there is they gave me the lowdown on all the sewing shops nearby in the area. Um, so I'm like in the North Austin suburbs and everything between basically, if you're familiar with the area of Round Rock and the actual city of Austin, I thought there were only one or two little shops. And they told me at least like five or six shops that are worth it to check out for sewing. I'm short on time right now, so I couldn't go to all of them, but I come to this area a few times a year. So I'm definitely gonna check them out. And if there's anything really interesting, I will share it with you guys. If you're in the Austin area, um, let me know where else you like to go to so that I can check it out as well. Uh, maybe have a little sewing meetup. I don't know. We'll see. I will show you guys what I got. It's not very much. It's just a couple of things. Um, but with that, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I will see you next time. Peace. And I promised that I would show you guys what I got. I ended up deciding I'm gonna get her a few of these heat erasable pens. They're super useful. And of course, a nice covered um, pair of thread snips. So I got these in budget. The pens I think are $150 or $2 each. And you know, I'm gonna take a couple of those for me and a couple of really useful colors for her to have. Um, I think they are perfect notions, whether you're quilting, doing home decor stuff, or doing garment sewing, these are gonna be helpful, and I hope she likes them. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching my video. I will see you guys next time.